Hello, this is Miriam Laufer from the Montgomery College Germantown Writing, Reading, and Language Center, and I'm here to talk to you a little bit about this discussion and or conclusion part of your lab report. Now, this may be one section, simply called the discussion or conclusion, or it may be two separate sections, depending on your professor. Always follow your professor's guidelines. So if you are dividing it into two sections, the discussion will first state whether your hypothesis was supported or not, not correct or proven. Some professors would also like you to include a restatement of your hypothesis before you state whether or not your hypothesis was supported. After you've stated whether or not your hypothesis was supported, explain why you think this was the case. Now, if you're moving on to the conclusion section, here's where you'll explain what you learned, anything that may have gone wrong during your experiment, and how it could be fixed in the future. If there's nothing that went wrong in your experiment, you could suggest future experiments to verify your hypothesis or even explore other hypotheses. This may depend on your professor. Here may also be a good place to include references to past research. Here's an example of the discussion section from the sample lab report from Hamilton College. As you can see, it has the section heading discussion, and the first sentence explains whether or not the results support the hypothesis. Now, in this case, the author has written the results supported my first hypothesis, which is in the first person, but you can easily change that to passive voice. Something like the results supported the hypothesis would be absolutely fine. There's also a reference here. Again, this is probably not the citation style that you'll be using, but it shows that the discussion section is a good place to include references. Now I'm going to talk about the application section, which you may or may not have, so this depends on your professor. However, if you do have an application section, this is where you're going to discuss a real life example of your experiment. So this definitely requires research and citations, and so you should definitely check out the video that Chris Verdact of MC Libraries prepared on research for your lab report. And here's an example of what a real life example or application section might look like from the sample lab report from Hamilton College.